What is herd immunity? Hi, my name is Howard Foreman. I'm a physician and a professor at the Yale School of Public Health and Yale School of Management. I'd like to talk about one method of protecting people from COVID-19 that's been getting some attention, herd immunity. In simple terms, herd immunity is communal protection from a disease. We achieve it once a large proportion of a population is immune to the disease and presumably the ability to spread it, dramatically reducing the risk of spread to others who are not immune. You can think of it as the percentage of a population that must be immune to extend immunity to others automatically. The safest way to do this is through vaccination. Through vaccines, we have achieved herd immunity to many dangerous diseases, including measles, whooping cough, and chickenpox. Herd immunity does not mean no one can get the disease. Isolated incidents can still occur, but it means a major outbreak is highly unlikely. Before vaccines, herd immunity was achieved naturally, but brutally. Disease would spread unchecked, survivors would develop antibodies and immunity, Eventually, enough people would be immune to halt spread until new, unimmunized members of society were introduced, generally via birth or migration, and then outbreaks could occur again. Absent a vaccine, herd immunity is not a viable public health strategy. In the case of the virus that causes COVID-19, achieving herd immunity without a vaccine would require allowing up to 70% of the U.S. population to become infected. That's 231 million people. And since 0.4% of those individuals, at the lowest estimate, would die, we would lose close to 1 million Americans and leave countless others with long-standing health problems. This violates a central tenet of biomedical ethics. First, do no harm. To achieve herd immunity to COVID-19 through vaccination, a substantial percent of the population must be vaccinated perhaps as high as 70% of those eligible. In the meantime, we can prevent unnecessary loss of life through patients and by employing various strategies to manage COVID-19 spread, including widespread rapid testing and the isolation of those found to be infected, mask wearing, hygienic measures, and social distancing.